Hello everyone, I'm Victor and now you are going to start the first demo prepared for this tutorial. Now I invite you to take a look at the GitHub repository where you can find more information about this tutorial as well we can find the another materials and the experiment links repository links okay and now we are running the experiment one from the demo one with this repository here so let's get started on this experiment here we, we are looking for uh, the installation of the two docker containers uh, looking for how to simulate the communication between the user equipment running on the first container and the NodeB running on the second container okay these two elements here will be able to communicate between a network is network interface using the IP protocol stack and this environment here we are running a, an LTA run okay it's a pretty simple experiment but it will it will be very useful for the complete under understanding about the the simulation environment and about the 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 resources that we need to use to 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 run and to simulate this type of elements okay to do the installations we need to take a look about the the requirements and uh, we can run this on a real machine or even in a virtual machine on this demonstration here i'm using a virtual machine with this requirement here if you have a kind of computer like that uh, you are able to run this right now okay so about the software requirements we need to have to 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 install the Python, uh, Git, and the Ansible. So let me get my my terminal from my virtual machine to do the installations. Okay, I have the Python. Okay, now we can clone the, the repository folder with this command here. Let's just copy and paste. Done. Okay. Now we need to install the Ansible. It's a very important tool to automate the, the tasks. Okay. After the installation, we are able to enter on the cloned folder in order to run the Ansible playbook uh, in, uh, with this file here, where we can uh, we have the overall information about the tasks we need to run to build the environment. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's run the Ansible playbook. 
the Ansible is asking for the sudo password and now he start the, the tasks in order to install the to build the environment it might take a while because it, it, it's a lot of, in, of information and the work to do here let me show briefly about this file here we we put the all information that we need to to execute in order to build the environment like the all information about the docker configuration and the installation of docker the, the, the installation of the the containers the configuration and the run configurations for each container even uh, Additionally, we, we have here the information about the, the NodeDB configuration, uh, like uh, the setup, the physical layer setup, uh, the transmission gain, and so on. We have information about the configuration of the user equipment, uh, configurations. Uh, about the, the the network between these two elements and the, all information that you need to 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 execute okay after the installation we need to check if the docker uh, has the the two containers that we need okay the ansible uh, finished the, the the tasks as we can see there is no fail here okay and now we can run the docker ps okay we have this the two docker containers running now we can jump to the test section in order to check uh, about the communications and the configurations uh, between uh, uh, the, the NodeDB and the, the user equipment. The first step here is to enter into the NodeDB container. Okay. And we can see about the network interface. We have the loopback and this network interface here with this IP address here. Okay. Now we need to, to enter into the user equipment container and to do that we need to, to use another terminal. Okay, and we can see the network interface again. We have two network interface, the loopback and this interface here. Okay, the next step is to get uh, back into the NodeDB terminal to run this command here we we enter on the this folder and we need to run the LTA soft modding using the NFAP configurations on the mode NOS1 putting the the log on the file on this file here so we I you will just copy and paste on the NodeDB container. Okay. After that we can run the if config again 
where we can see another network interface running. And this network interface here is the, the network interface created uh, for the communication to the communication between the user equipment and the NodeB. And uh, this network interface has this IP address with this netmask here. Now, we need to come back to the user equipment terminal to run this command here. We are running the LTA soft modem, but now we are using the user equipment. Okay? Uh, it's very important this, this parameter here, where, where we can put the number of the user equipment that we need to, to run, that we want, we want to run. Now on this demonstration here, we are running just only one user equipment. Okay, we can see the network interface. Okay, we have more network interface running and this network interface uh, was created to communication between the user equipment and the NodeB. As we can see, these two network interfaces are running on the same network configuration with IP1 and 2. Okay? And the next step is to check the communication between these two containers. Okay? So, on the user equipment container, we can run the ping command. The NODB IP address. As we can see, the NODB is running and listening to the user equipment. Okay, with this experiment here, we are running the NODB and the user equipment simulated by the open air interface using the L2 and FAP simulator. Uh, that is a simulator that allows us to test L2 and above layers using the NFAP interface. So we are running this simulator in the NOS1 mode. That means we are run running with a run with no network power. Okay, as you can see, we are running just the only one user equipment, but uh, you can run multiple UAs using one UA container. You just need to, to modify this parameter here, putting the, the number of the user equipment that you want to run. Okay, and Similarly, you can create a different topology modifying the, this file here, okay? Thank you.